All right, so I think I finished up the design for the controller. Uh, I'm gonna have to go over it a few times. There might be some problems. I have no idea, but I added in four buttons this time instead of two and two joysticks. Also, I'm opening up all the extra pins on a header um, to make this a more kind of capable and more open design if you wanted to use it for other purposes than the one that I changed. Since it's an ESP32, it can connect with Wi-Fi. You could use like a joystick, for instance, to adjust something over a Wi-Fi, so like an LED dimmer or something crazy. I don't know. Really, really anything that, you know, that's the whole point of my new design that I'm trying to make is be much more capable for anyone's projects. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the board design. And yeah, I won't order it yet because I'm going to want to go over my circuits and everything. But let's just do some board design today and, and take a look with what I come up with. So during this part, I wanted to just go over kind of what's going through my head. Initially, I copy over the size and shape from a board I had already made so I can know its dimensions for when I do the 3D modeling. And then I go in and I move the most important things first, the things where I, for sure, I know I want them to be. And I'm going through and putting those in initially as well as some of the small components that go with them. Uh, the buttons are a good example here of like, I know how I want them orientated. So I'm focusing on those things before I start bringing in everything else. I add in some of the headers for the, the joysticks to connect to. And then I also try to make the battery connector close to the USB Type-C connector for the whole charging circuit. I want it to be very compact. I don't want it to, to be susceptible to getting lots of noise. And I kind of just go in and start adding in the smaller components, getting them organized in a way. I do like to look up data sheets for certain parts and it tends to give you layout suggestions. So I'm following all the suggestions that go with the layouts. and just add in the small components as it goes. Checking schematics, making sure things um, go together well. You tend to see a lot with like the board design, what's called the rat's nest, all those wires that connect. Uh, sometimes it'll just draw the shortest line, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the best place for it to be. So you wanna organize your stuff to be with the components that are part of their circuit, even though things like the ground plane or like the 3.3 the volt is like all connected to a bunch of things. Uh, you want to connect it in a way that makes the most sense with your circuit. So I check the schematic a lot as I go through. And then here I'm just drawing a lot of uh, traces and trying to keep it as compact as possible, keeping everything together. And here you can see I flipped over the ESP32 on those two buttons. Even though I was saying I wanted to try to keep everything initially how I wanted, I found it was impossible to actually run all those traces with the ESP32 the way it was oriented. So I had to go back and flip it over so I could actually wire that header that's gonna expose all the extra pins and to wire it up to the USB Type-C connector. You need those data pins as short as possible. All right, so here's my PCB design, mostly finished for the, the controller PC. I'm not particularly happy with it. Um, so I'm gonna do the, the classic piece of advice. That's my favorite piece of advice I've heard when it comes to uh, PCB design, and that is to sleep on it. I am not gonna order this PCB. I'm gonna come back and take a look at it again tomorrow. Um, there's just a bit of issue, I think, with the ground plane uh, because of the the way that the MOSFET is set up for the, the protection circuit. This is my ground that everything will be flowing to, and it's not, I mean, I kind of just stapled it in with like a bunch of vias, and it's not quite what I wanted. Anyway, uh, I will continue this project and post more video updates. Again, feel free to add in the comments with any piece of advice, constructive or non-constructive criticism. I'm all open to it. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of make it up as I go. And even if you're watching and you're unfamiliar with lots of this, you know, feel free to ask some questions. Maybe someone in the comments or I can answer some. And thank you. Again, thanks for watching, everyone. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want. I will be posting more videos. I will very shortly follow up this video with the, the finishing of this PCB, and I'll go ahead and order it through JLC PCB. Should be pretty cool, so stay tuned. Thanks again.